um, I'm just going to give a little tutorial on how I use my little projector that I made and I came up with it after about two months um, to show you how to put an image onto a cake to paint. I usually do freehand, but not everyone can do that, so I'm going to show how to do this. This right here, first of all, is um, a pad of transparencies. It's just transparent little pieces that can hold permanent ink. So I had to get some of that. And um, I had to print out, I printed out two pictures of the, what I'm going to put onto the cake. This one is for me to see all the detail when I'm painting it. This one is for me to trace onto a transparency. So as you can see, I've already done that. I tape it down to the picture and trace over it with a fine point permanent marker. And then, as you can see, I have the lines there and then I can transfer it to the cake with my little projection system and I will after this I'm going to break it down so you can see how to make one because it only cost me about fifty dollars and I had to buy the light so if you have a light like this it would only be about thirty dollars so um, I'm going to show you now how to put this image right here onto your cake so you can paint it the little projector that I made it took me a couple of months to come up with how to do this and I'm going to give a detailed video after I do this cake demonstration um, but it, it works pretty well I am aware that there are projectors that you can buy if you want to spend a couple of hundred dollars which I was trying to come up with something cheaper for people that don't want to spend several hundred dollars and so this is the way that I did it. And so basically I'm going to take my little transparency of my bird and I'm going to put it in to this little frame just like that. And now I'm going to show you how to put that on your cake. Those who have not seen one of these before that I've done um, here's my little, just one little layer cake with fondant on the top here. The color I'm using is, it's the Maricolor and it's airbrush colors, but you can use gel if that's what you have. Just mix it with a little bit of water. And a glass of water. I've got a little brush that I use and a little dish with a couple of drops of food color in it. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how I'm going to line this up to get the image onto this cake. This is my kitchen area here, but I'm just going to show you. I have my little stand here that I made right here above my cake, which is right here. Okay, up here on my cabinet door, I have a light that is coming down onto this image here right here which goes through to here and I'm going to show you how to now just sketch it out onto the now I am ready to sketch this out with my little brush here I'm just going to come around behind the little projection stand and of course I have uh, blotted out a lot of the color because you just want a little fine color here as you can see, this is the image that you're getting from the projection. So then I'm just going to take my brush, just very, very lightly, I am not the most steady, and then I'm going to just
I've got that layer. And there's the little berries here. I'm going to just go and just stretch those out. There's a little piece of a branch. Berries up. And all these little extra lines I'm just making that I don't need. I can actually get rid of them pretty easily. hit the image or hit the little projection. that I just got from using my transparency and I'm going to begin filling the color in the bird and the berries on it and then this is my little sketch here I did um, here I'm just taking some of my color and fill it in and I'm just making little just like little you know marks just like you might find if you had real feathers. So I'm just gonna kind of dab it on. Some of the areas are darker than others and that's the way it is uh, to make it realistic. And you just want to continue to just do just like this. Just making them some little feathers. Go back and get some more color. Always blotting my brush whenever I pick up more color because it'll really mess you up if you don't do that. As you can see, this is a little darker and that's perfectly good too because you got some darker areas and lighter areas. Just going back and forth to my reference photo to see where I need to put him some little blue feathers. And I use the reference photo, but I don't do it exactly like the reference photo because I'd like to just be a little bit more creative. 